discomfort after a breast augmentation. I wouldn't call it a complication, it's expected. It's one of those things that will happen after surgery. The question is, can we um, make it as little as possible? Can we get you back into your life as quickly as possible? Um, and the answer is, is yeah, uh, we've really taken some great steps to, to make this better. First, um, we have this pain protocol where we have anti-inflammatories being used before surgery, uh, not just Celebrex, but also gabapentin, something to modify nerve conduction. That really, really helps because if you can stop inflammation, you, you stop a lot of pain. Ice. Uh, afterwards is really useful and we have this really w uh, great way of using diapers and putting water in the diaper to, and, and then into the freezer to make this really big ice cube and that just sort of drapes out around the breast as well. Pain pumps I find very useful. These little tubes that go in and bathe the area in anesthetic um, and can deliver medicines if I want to as well. Sort of like Novocaine. I mean, a lot of people say, well, you know, when am I recovered? What's my recovery like? When can I drive? Well, you can usually drive um, well, within five days, but it's really when you're off pain medicine and you feel like you can make an emergency maneuver, right? I mean, everybody's a grown up. You know when you can do it. Five days is a guideline. When can I uh, work out? Well, I think you, you know, I want you walking then that afternoon. I want you moving around. Um, when can I exercise? What do you want to do? Well, I like to uh, do orange theory. I think you're going to take a little while for that. I mean, I, I want you walk in the you know, first week and go up hills the second week and get your heart rate elevated. I think you can start sweating in the third week, but I really don't want you using your chest muscles for probably six, at least in a really strong way. When can I go back to work? Again, it depends what you do, right? I mean, very few people in Northern Virginia in this day and age are bailing hay. So, uh, you know, most people have to drive, that's day five, and they have to go and have some energy and be able to function in an office environment. And that's usually, you know, somewhere around a week, something like that. Most people would take a surgery on Thursday, go back to work on a Monday. Seems pretty reasonable. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and feel free to share with a friend. You can stay up to date with the latest in cosmetic surgery by subscribing to the Austin Weston YouTube channel. And for more information on the Austin Weston Center, visit our website at austin-weston.com or click the link in the description below.